air code review tools promises that they catch bugs faster, quicker, never gets tired, never take vacation unlike like humans like us. However, developer and AI enthusiast has completely different point of view. They say that it hallucinates, it lacks context and sometimes give surface level information or suggestions. It even gets worse when it comes to junior level engineers, junior level developers. They don't even know how to use AI to get deeper level granular details or how to get properly code review done. In this video, I'm going to take you through four different AI code review tools most talked about in 2020-25. Which one works best for your scenario? I'm going to put four of these to in front of you, give them different prompts around security, context, accuracy, and code modularity and generating code as well. So that you don't have to go through the hardship of figuring out which one works best for you. I'll see you in the demo. All right, the first one in the list is Kodo. So what I've done is I've already got a repo. It's a simple payment API, which does a bunch of transaction. Now, the part which I want you to focus is on that is built on JavaScript and uh, Python. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Python plugin in my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. And I'm, I've already given the context. You can select the models uh, as well. If you notice over here, it's got the latest model as well, GPT-5. And you can select a bunch of predefined uh, already available flag or you can set the context so i'm going to set the context to the payment api it's going to do the indexing for the first time then i'm going to say the prompt is review these auth changes for critical risk like hard-coded weak secrets token signing validation missing expiry token including cookies uh, exception as well and uh, probably hit me with a bunch of these su suggestions all right, so what's going to happen is it's going to start getting all the changes. It has uh, going to list of all the code differences and figure out where the cookie is, where the JW uh, token is defined. So it has finished uh, processing the request. If you look at over here, the first one is the hard coding or the weak JWT token, which we have defined over here. Shouldn't be doing it. Either you can copy the code or insert it from here, right from here as well. In the transaction file, uh, it is saying that error responses are detailed and differ for various failures like Poro 1 should have a different error rates and Poro should have different one and if you see that it has given us that this is what needs to be replaced with uh, this part so it is telling you that exact lines what it needs to be uh, you can click on the insert button as well and probably do uh, replace it right over here it is also saying that JW seems to be uh, expired and is not enforced or checked beyond what JWD has to offer and you got to make sure that you kind of rotate it uh, there's insecure cookies as well and then middleware as well that's what's been done by Kodo now take the same prompt and give it to another tool and let's give it to another tool called tracer now what I'm going to do is it has already got the context so I'm going to say the same Please uh, review these auth changes. So we're going to give the same prompt around the security to Tracer as well. If you take a look at it, it is taking way more time than Kodo. While Kodo was generating responses within few microseconds, it is in it, it is taking few seconds to kind of understand and it is more around in the thinking mode that where are the cookies that are still probably searching for the JWT references or write JavaScript files. So we're down to a couple of minutes now and uh, looks like Tracer is still in the thinking mode. It's figuring out the right environment file or env file. If you look at the Kodo, it was able to figure out the exact places where the tokens are mentioned, the transaction file, transaction.javascript. Uh, and then it was also able to figure out where are these JWT secrets were kept and kind of figuring out things way lot quicker so let's go back to the tracer again and see if it's still thinking it's still kind of thinking we'll give it a few minutes and kind of let it come back all right after a couple of minutes uh, tracer seems to have given us the uh, issue so it has um, used a lot of emoticons as well and told us which file has the issue so it has bring out env has the um, jwd token defined is telling us the impact as well and similar stuff 
user uh, enumeration by detail error message on the line line so you go to manually copy it and paste it and similarly with jwt token as well and it has created a test plan as well so probably not not that bad but it is less verbose compared to kodo kodo was kind of telling you one by one and it's kind of very much detailed as well and it it kind of tries to make the changes in the file itself wherein compared to tracer where it's it's telling you that these are the changes you can probably pick up those changes and put it into a file however you can generate in phases as well so what happens is when you generate in phases it gives you a plan as well which you can kind of implement one by one as well um, so it doesn't implement everything at once it gives you things in phases so probably in the first one you just want to apply the jwt the second one you want to just want to apply the test in the third phase you want to apply um, how to fix the error logs and all of that so a lot of them are generated in phases which is a good part of the tool um, if you look at over here these are the phases kind of divided uh, the entire uh, fixes so the first phase fix the critical JWT secret in the second one secure in the third one add the security test and validation from this was informative go ahead and try both of these tools and figure out which one works best for you all right so we tried Kodo and Tracer for our code review purpose we figured out that there were a bunch of issues around JWT token and uh, security credentials issues as well now in the next one I want to pick up another tool sweep AI now if your organization doesn't have Visual Studio, doesn't use or team doesn't use Visual Studio Code and more of enterprise and uses uh, IntelliJ, indicates by default with IntelliJ and uh, does pretty much fair job and especially the teams are using IntelliJ. So what I'm going to do is you can use the agent or chat version and what I'm going to say is analyze the node API and generate a jest based test suit achieving more than 80% branch coverage across the index file and uh, the transaction as well create a minimal transaction router as well test for 401 error make sure it has a valid jwt token expired test the expired 401 as well and 429 as well what i'm going to do is i just while i was figuring out this i'm going to give the same to Kodo as well and i'm going to give to same to uh, tracer as well and let's see how each other one of them kind of works together so this is more around not only figuring out the test cases but figuring out the test coverage as well and testing all of the errors which might just take you hours to achieve it so first one in the list is since the slowest one tracer i'm going to hit the send button i'm going to hit the send button over here as well and i'm going to ask sweep ai as well so same prompt to three different um, tools so if you say it's still connecting figuring out the current state of code base let's see what's happening code it has already started to giving us the test suit as well quite fast let's go to tracer as well uh, looks like it's still figuring out still exploring the directories and router structure over here it is also still figuring out is a transaction router already exist with good test now it is starting to generate the test cases and the router uh, functionality if you kind of uh, go back to the Kodo again it has already generated all the test cases test suite as well it has included the patch as well what to include you can insert it right from here it is included everything which we have mentioned we mentioned to patch the index file then the transaction and then the just base security test as well and asking us to then once it is done the coverage is done it is asking us to install run the dependencies while in the tracer it is still figuring out things it is still breaking them phase by phase and in sweep ai it is typically done okay it's still generating it it has generated the indexed one uh it has generated the transaction one as well it is still generating the test uh, in the similar fashion with what we mentioned so uh, clearly the winner is Kodo over here and took a jiffy for Kodo to figure out the context and start generating test cases based on our inputs. I'll take a pause over here, let it complete and let you go ahead and try as well. If you try 
it simultaneously with me things just gonna get way more fun doing it together if you like such kind of videos don't forget to comment and subscribe as well and let us know that how it kind of works for you as well because it's going to react to different code bases in a different way as you can see it is still creating the transaction specific test covering all the jwt authentication scenario and uh, while tracer is still figuring out kodo was done a while back doing generating pretty much similar test cases if you look at over here creating similar test cases which is generated by the sweep ai as well i'll see you in the next one thank you all right last one in the list is tab 9 now i have selected the latest one 3.5 sonnet i've already given the context now what I'm doing over here is I am giving tab 9 all of these three contexts which I want it to be validated under. I want us to first figure out the hard-coded secrets which I gave to Kodo and Tracer at the beginning. Missing HTTPS request in production and then I'm telling it to extract JWT verification into middleware auth and then I'm also asking it to generate test make sure the coverage is more than 80 percent and then i'm also asking it to adjust the npm script and back it json i'm going to copy and give it to same to kodo as well all right so i'm going to hit enter and i'm going to hit enter over here as well and see how both kind of behaves so kodo seems to be blazingly fast as always it is starting to give us the test cases and the fixes let's go back to the tab 9 Tab 9 seems to be doing the job pretty effectively and efficiently as well. So it's saying that I go through the code base and provide the necessary fixes and improvement. Extracting the JWT from the auth.js file. Now it is updating the transaction file as well. It is including the proxy as well. One thing I really want to figure out is it has generated the test cases as well. It hasn't given me yet that it has a weak jwt token or there are a bunch of token responses which is already exposed which was earlier given by kodo which is not given by tab 9 so uh, i think this is super important when it when it comes to security as well wherein it needs to these review tools needs to highlight that what is exposed and what you should not be exposing and and as a mitigation you should eventually rotate it pretty quickly so it has done all the job that hardcoded are removed, but it not flagged it as a critical issue. So it is telling that hardcoded secrets are removed. JWT is rotation should be rotated. So it is not kind of telling us that it's super important. However, it is over here. It is kind of not only generating it, but also telling us that you could apply these changes right away. So you can you can just removing it right away and doing the line by line changes so that you don't have to go ahead and do the copy paste over here. Over here, if you see, it, it tells you that you can apply it, but it doesn't show you the delta changes. However, over here, things which are replaced, things which are now created new, the middleware or the route registration are kind of the new ones. So it is kind of telling you that these are the ones which needs to be added, highlighted in blue as well. Highlighted in red, which one you need to get rid of from your code base. I hope this was informative and I'll let you try and kind of decide which one works best for you and your code base. Don't just get hung up on the exact prompt. Think of these, all of these tools like different agents or different developers or senior engineer in your organization. Treat them, one of them like a senior reviewer, another like a technical architect, another like a DevSecOps or somebody like head of security. Think of all of them as your reviewer, as your senior engineer. Have these tools or agents do the heavy lifting. What you really need to understand that how do you make sure that you pick and choose the right tool for your code base, for your language, for your business logic. Now, you got to select that which tools kind of care a lot about code review, test coverage, code coverage and a lot of these parameters. So I think, I think Kodo kind of does that job. Go ahead and take a look at, take a stab at this detailed blog on top AI code review tools where there's head-to-head -head comparison between multiple tools including most of these tools which we have discussed today. I hope this was super informative. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down which tool you like the most or if there's a tool beyond the list make sure you put them into the comment and we'll make sure that we're going to cover that in the next one or in the upcoming one.